I want to like talk about from the beginning of your journey to like where you are now, but first, so people kind of know the scale of how good you are. Can you just tell us a few of the artists you made work, um, made uh, art for, a few of the big names you made art for? Um, well, I fucking Name remember drop. off the top of my head. And I, in, in term, well, when I started, I actually started by doing portraits for musicians. So at uni, I did graphic design and illustration, and I did album artwork for um, rappers and musicians that I was interested in and uh, that kind of like opened me up to this network of people in the music industry and then I started doing portrait paintings for them so in terms of like musicians I've, stuff, I've done stuff for like um, this guy called Fredo, guy called AJ Tracy, um, Skepta, people like that so yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I love how you say this guy as if the whole world doesn't know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, if people don't know who they are, then yeah, they can they can Google them, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I do need to ask you though, how was it meeting the likes of Fredo, Skepta, uh, AJ Tracy, <laughs> Daisy Donald? You, have you got any sore stories? How were they when you met them? Um I've got a few stories, but I can't really tell them on the podcast okay. <laughs> because Fair enough. Few, few of them were a bit dodgy, but okay. uh, maybe off air we'll like, talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I, I'll, I'll just briefly say one story, which is absolutely crazy, is there's a guy called Mist from Birmingham. Yeah. He's a rapper from Birmingham. He's, he's a huge rapper now, and I went to go meet him in Birmingham. And um, I'll just say it briefly, but I went on the back of his motorbike and oh, then wow. we'll just we'll just end the story there. Yeah, <laughs> that, was a, that, was a, that was a crazy experience. Um, uh, but yeah, you say, what's it like to meet these sort of people? At first, I was really nervous and it was really exciting. I loved it. It still is a bit exciting, but the, now it's become like a bit normal like sounds a bit crappy yeah. doesn't it like I'm, I'm a bit used to it but because these people are they actually are normal people it's yeah. just we see them on the te- on the tv and on the internet we kind of like have our own perception of these people but when you meet them in real life they're just normal genuine people it just that seems to be their job you know but yeah. so at, at first it was scary and exciting at the same time like going to these places traveling but that, that, that's one of the, the best things about it is traveling around the country or traveling around the world yeah. to meet these people. That's, that's probably the best part about it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. I wanted yeah. to ask um, if there's a dream project that you have in mind. Um, uh, I said I like the finer things in life, um, which may seem a bit materialistic, but... Um, I went to Italy like a few years ago and I went to Florence and I, uh, I went to a museum, uh, the Gucci Museum. So I okay. went to go see like all of the old Gucci um, like memorabilia and all the stuff that they've done over the years. And that, that really inspired me. So because cause they, they use a lot of animals in their work, like especially yeah. a tiger. They use a lot of tiger, tiger imagery. So maybe that that is the dream collaboration in the year, in in the future to work with Gucci on a on a huge project and have like my own maybe clothing um, line for like that 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 season Tom Fitch Gucci for that season that would be sick I'd yeah love that. it's an amazing <laughs> dream yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I've is thought there... about it loads to be fair I've thought about it loads. <laughs> yeah so it just got to speak it into existence and yeah. just put the work in and uh maybe try and get in contact with whoever's the head of gucci you know because <laughs> anything's possible yeah i think it's definitely achievable yeah. for you after everything you've done so far <laughs> i don't think I'm, I'm ready yet i'm definitely not ready yet i think i need a few more years uh to practice and like i'm doing a collaboration with 1010 maybe this is just the start of what's to come and i can learn from yeah. this collaboration with this clothing company and then uh maybe i'll be ready then <laughs> yeah is there a celebrity or rapper sports person that you would dream of um making art for in the future 
Um, so I've painted David Attenborough. I'd love to meet oh. David Attenborough. He's a huge inspiration. Um, I'd like to meet, you know, like the major sports stars like McGregor, Ronaldo, like we said. Yeah. Um, who else? Who would I love to meet? Drake? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'd love to meet Drake. Um, I like Travis Scott as well because oh, yeah. of all like the imagery that he uses, and like he without without the music, he's got a whole theme to his brand, Travis Scott brand. Yeah. You know, like the desert, the cactus, the horses, and he can use that sort of imagery on anything like clothes, videos, shoes. Um, so it, it'd, be, it'd be amazing to meet Travis Scott and his creative team and maybe like learn from him. Yeah.